All right, so this is what we're going to do today. Yay, different background. Hey guys, what's up? Today's kind of a different video. Um, I'm going to have a singing video coming up pretty soon, but I just really needed to discuss this topic with somebody because I feel like things happen. I'm a really weird person and I realize that I really, really attract awkward situations. Alright. Now, if you're anything like me, this could be a huge, vast majority of things. And a lot of these things do happen to me. I think every single one of these things have happened to me. So I thought I would just share them with you guys. If you feel this way too, um, maybe this has happened to you, I don't know. But I feel like I need to express this awkwardness. Let's discuss some awkward things. When you are in a public place and you are eating, finger food usually, sitting there eating my, my goldfish or whatever, my cheese its whatever, and I just drop it on my shirt. It's totally happened. It's really not that awkward until you actually have to fish it out of your shirt. And especially awkward if nobody saw you do it and you have to kind of look around and sneak somehow get your hand down the top or the bottom of your shirt, whatever it is, it's awkward. Forgetting somebody's name happens all the time. I am pretty good with names and I'm pretty good with faces, but I'm usually not good at putting them together. Usually, they know my name, but I don't know who they are and I feel so bad about it. And they keep saying, hi Taylor, how are you? And then I don't know their name and I'm afraid to ask at this point because it's just been way too long it would just be even more awkward if I asked now because it's been like way late in the game. This one I'm super good at doing, which is ruining somebody's joke by not knowing what they're talking about. For me, it's usually always, almost always, has to do with a movie or like some kind of movie reference. Somebody starts laughing because they're thinking about a joke and then they say, oh, have you seen this movie? And I usually say, no. And then they say, Oh, never mind then. You wouldn't get the joke. And then I ruined everything. And then all of a sudden it gets like laughy fun, and then it's just like, bye. When you get in the shower, you're taking a shower, washing your hair, whatever, and then you realize that you forgot to bring something in the shower that is now outside the shower, and you need it, like a razor or new shampoo you bought, and then you have to get out of the shower when you're like soaking wet, and you drip it all over the floor, and then you have to get back in the show. It's just a mess. It's just a mess. Okay, this happens to me all the time. Not that I eat out a lot. Oh boy. When I go out to a restaurant and I, you know, complete my order, they bring it out and it's wrong. And I've already waited like half an hour for it. And I don't want to be rude and send it back because I feel bad. But then it's really awkward because then I'm, okay, I'm like, well, I have this dilemma. I don't want to be that person who's like, excuse me, my order is wrong. Can you please send it back? Because that, I just feel bad about that. That just makes me feel terrible. I don't know why. I just feel really awful about stuff like that. Dilemmas. I've done this on plenty of occasions. I like to sing, obviously, I mean, if you haven't checked out my channel before, you might want to see all the previous videos before this one, but I love singing, and I sing all the time, everywhere I go, everything I do involves singing, probably, and half the time, I don't even know what I'm doing it. When I was home in Seattle, I was on a public bus, and I put my headphones on, and I was just on the bus, and somebody tapped me on the shoulder, and I turned around, and they said, you're really great and everything, and it's not that you don't sound good, because you do but you're being kind of loud and we would maybe like it if you would keep it down. I literally was like this. Was I singing? Yeah, just a little bit. Just, just, but it's okay, it wasn't bad. We just, maybe you, you could sing a little quieter. Oh my God, I've never been so embarrassed in my life. I literally took my headphones and I put them away and I looked out the window the rest of the ride because it was so awkward. Like, this is me, I'm an awkward person. If you don't know that already, I am so awkward. When you flash people in public by accident, I've done this before, sadly. In my college, we have something called demos, which are kind of like final exams, but they're for singing, acting, and dancing. We have something called a dance demo every semester where we have to learn specific combos for specific dance classes, and then we perform them for the head of the dance department. And then he normally assesses us, tells us how we did, 
um, does an exercise kind of to teach us specific kinds of lessons and things like that. We did our dances, um, the head of the department was there. He was like, okay, we're gonna do an exercise. So we all, all of my classmates and I stood up against the ballet bar, pretended like we were like at an actual bar, and each one of us had to go up in front of the whole class and do a crazy dance across the room, and then see a friend at the end, wave, and then go to the end. It was like an exercise to be, you know, fully committed and be, a, you know, there and present and be active and, you know, all kinds of, Important information we need to know. So I went up in front of everybody, I started swinging my arms like this, and lo and behold, the leotard strap on my left shoulder decided to just snap. Now that that leotard has like built-in stuff so you don't gotta worry about anything because the back is super, you know, cut out and pretty and you don't want it, you know, girly. So it looks prettier without anything on. So me being stupid didn't Think about the strap that actually can detach itself in the back and it just came off and I flashed my entire class including my teacher and the head of the department at AMDA. Lesson of the day, it's so important to just laugh at yourself because life is too short and you don't want to you know, lose that precious time worrying about some embarrassing thing that happened in your dance class. It happened to me, but it's a pretty dang funny story, and I love to tell it because it's so humbling. And just admit, it's pretty funny. And if you were there, it was even funnier because you saw the whole thing happen, so you're welcome. I don't know why, but when I see runners on the street, I always want to yell, like, words of encouragement. Like, you can do it! You go, Glen Coco! Run, Forest, run! All kinds of things that would probably be awkward if I actually yelled them. So this is just an awkward thought in my head because I always want to yell that. Falling over when you're not even moving? Does that ever happen to you? Happens to me all the freaking time. I'm just standing still and all of a sudden, just literally almost falling down on my face. I'm not wearing high heels. I'm not like, I haven't been like jogging a whole bunch and I'm about to pass out. I, I didn't take any poison or anything. I like, I'm just standing still and I almost just fall over. Please tell me, somebody else has done that besides me. Thank you again, Radiator, for your debut. You can leave now. Okay guys, so that's about it. If any of these awkward things happen to you, Please let me know down in the comments below what you think is awkward and what awkward things have happened to you. If you want to see a new song, please let me know. You can comment below what you want to see. Um, I'm super open to a lot of options. I just got a Twitter. I just got a Facebook page for my musician side of things. Um, I just got a SoundCloud and I'm hopefully going to get some stuff up there soon, so check those out. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe below. That would totally help me out. Uh, and thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in and uh, embracing my weirdness because I'm just such a weird person and I, I hope that there are other super weird people out there too that are not alone in the world of awkward. So if you want to join the world of awkward, just let me know. We'll have a dinner date or something. Thanks so much guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye! Smiling faces, warm embraces, love is walking hand in hand. Wow, I think my face is the color of my background. That's sad.